Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I am Maxine. I am a mouthpiece of the Lord, praise God, here to give you a word, a message from the Lord, praise God. This is day six of our fast, of our submission fast, six of 21. We are well on our way. Congla congratulations to each and every one of you who have completed this fast, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah for just being obedient to God in this time of eating clean and joining him in prayer praise god because we know that prayer is communication but also just adhering to his call you know sitting at his feet praising jesus you know honoring him praise god reading the word meditating on it just drawing closer to the lord in this time that is the purpose of being submissive praise god because when you can be submissive to god meaning yielding to the holy spirit and doing exactly what you're told to do then of course you can be submissive in any relationship you can be submissive in your marriage praise god without a problem hallelujah because you know that you belong to god you know that your mate belongs to god praise god so they're being obedient you're being obedient hallelujah now if you're not in that dynamic because a lot of people are not in the dynamic of each person in the marriage actually yielding to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead and continue to pray. Go ahead and continue to cry out to the Lord for your marriage. Praise God. Because God can do it. He can bring it together. Hallelujah. He's the one who draws in the mighty name of Jesus. We can't change any man and we can't change any woman. Praise God. But one person who can. One spirit who can. That's God Almighty. Hallelujah. So when he draws and your mate accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Guess what? Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is going to come upon him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit is going to navigate through the yielding. And I just pray that over you and your family today, that the Lord will incline his ear on your prayers. Hallelujah. He will hear your prayers and he will send forth angels to just restore, praise God. Hallelujah. Your marriage, restore your relationships, praise God. Restore your family ships, hallelujah. That the Lord would do it for you in Jesus' mighty name because he's a good God, mighty God, and he has all power, hallelujah. He can do it, praise God. Just cry out to him, pray out, pray to him, hallelujah, and listen to what he has to say because the God, the, our God is speaking. Hallelujah. We serve the one and only true living God. He is speaking in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so let's go to verse 17 of the Abrahamic covenant. So remember, we're reading and studying uh, Luke 19 for submission. But uh, verse 17 of Genesis lets us know the Abrahamic covenant that you have access to as a son or daughter um, of Abraham. And it reads, now when Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and I will multiply you exceedingly. Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you will be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall you na your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you in kings will come from you, forth from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you throughout their generation for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land of your sojournings, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. God said further to Abraham, Now as for you, you shall keep my covenant and you and your descendants after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant with you. You shall keep between me and you and your descendants after you. Every male among of you, every male among you shall be circumcised. Praise God. And you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskin. And it shall be the sign of the covenant before between me and you. Praise God. But we know that we have Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We know circumcision still still happens today, praise God. But we also know that we have Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. So when we choose Jesus Christ, praise God, we have access to the covenant. We have access to the promises, praise God. So study Genesis and find out more about the Abrahamic covenant. Find out more about the promises that God bestowed upon Abraham because you have access to them as a son or daughter of Abraham, praise God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to share that with you today because this is what the Lord had for us to just study and focus on today as we're moving through day six and six meaning creation hallelujah and there we have the creation of a covenant between god and abraham let's just go ahead and stand on the promises of god hallelujah so i'm ready for communion i have my cracker here and i have my grape juice praise god i hope that you're prepared for communion on day six again congratulations 
on day six hallelujah we're ready to move forward into day seven i pray that you continue to eat clean and be mindful about what you're intaking praise god hallelujah but also be mindful about your prayer life with the lord and your meditation on the word hallelujah so we're starting at uh, chapter 11 first corinthians verse 23 for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered you to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he had, he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank the Lord, he broke it. It said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup. Also, after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat the bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until we come. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For the reason many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you, O Lord God. For communion today we thank you for bringing us together oh lord god for this fast for communion just to praise and honor and worship you oh lord we thank you jesus for our salvation we thank you jesus for being so concerned about us hallelujah in this time that you're opening doors you're opening gates praise god you're raising us increasing us elevating us in this season in the spirit oh lord we thank you for consecrating to us oh lord we thank you for welcoming us in your body hallelujah we thank you for your love that you constantly pour out onto us hallelujah we thank you for the daily blessings that we don't even, a lot of them, we don't even really think about, Lord God. But having limbs that move, praise God, hallelujah, sound mind, able body, that's a blessing, hallelujah. To be able to wake up and breathe, that's a blessing, praise God. To be able to move around mobily, hallelujah, drive, hallelujah, and think and be able to recall information, that's a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. And we also thank you for what you're bringing forth, for the trajectory, the pathway that you have placed before us, oh Lord God, hallelujah. May the journey be just light, Lord God. Any wickedness that is on our path, Lord God, or even trying to come unto our path, Lord God, come into agreement, trying to get us to come into agreement with it, oh Lord God, we ask right now that it detours. We ask right now, hallelujah, that it, it will not will no longer be on our path. It will not find us on our path in the mighty name of Jesus because we do not come into agreement with it in Jesus' mighty name. So it must flee because right now we are rejecting the enemy, rejecting the enemy. Hallelujah. We reject you, enemy. We reject you, distraction. We reject you, delay in the mighty name of Jesus. We reject you. Hallelujah. Betrayal. We reject you, lies. Hallelujah. We reject you, confusion. We reject you, cloudiness. We reject you, hateful heart. Hallelujah. We reject you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We reject you from all corners. Praise God. You have no access to our territories, our property. Praise God. You have no access to our our family, our children, hallelujah. You have no access. We close our doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Why both of these sealed in Jesus' mighty name? Hallelujah. And we plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of our family members, over ourselves, over the doors that are closed, hallelujah, over our homes, our territories, our properties in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus speaks on behalf of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the ending of day six. Hallelujah. May every single person who's walking on this path be blessed, oh, Father God. Give them blessings like they've never seen it before, oh, Lord. Show them things they've never seen before, Lord. Encounter them in ways that they've never seen before, oh, Lord God. Hallelujah. Let them see your spirit, oh, Father God. Move in this realm, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Let them see you send forth the angels, oh, Lord, to break through. Hallelujah. To break through for them in the mighty name of Jesus. And every area that they're crying out for in Jesus mighty name. We believe it and receive you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you are blessed with this word today. Praise God. And that as we have sealed this prayer with the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, but also with the communion, y'all, because we're sealing it every day with the communion, praise God. But go ahead and seal it with the blood of Jesus because the blood of Jesus speaks on our behalf, praise God. Why? Because we're staying with it, praise God. We just drunk, hallelujah, uh, the blood covenant, praise God. Hallelujah, the representation of it in the mighty name of Jesus. That grape juice 
blood covenant hallelujah the blood of jesus is on the inside y'all hallelujah so any infirmities that's lurking around and the doctor's trying to tell you this and that praise god hallelujah you're drinking the blood of jesus let me tell you something when you accept jesus christ and his blood speaks for you praise god that's on the inside and outside praise god that's going to move things out your way but it's also going to speak to things on the inside it's going to speak to those cells praise god it's going to speak to hallelujah i'm telling you right now hallelujah it's going to speak to those neutrons praise god understand what i'm saying hallelujah it's going to speak hallelujah to those chromosomes it's going to speak hallelujah that blood is speaking praise god to the tissue it's speaking to the tendons praise god it's speaking to the bones hallelujah listen to what i'm saying believe it and receive it the blood of jesus speaks hallelujah you can't just believe in being healed by jesus hallelujah because somebody said you gotta really believe because you've been through it you gotta really believe it hallelujah when you have that headache you tell it to go praise god and it actually goes hallelujah you understand you have to believe like that praise god that not one thing will stand in your way from what god has for you praise god and it will not get you down have you curled up in the bed praise god i don't know who this is for have you curled up in the bed like you can't do anything hallelujah the devil is a lie praise god you are chosen in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah and that infirmity must go in jesus mighty name i pray that you believe it and receive it i pray that you stand up to it praise god hallelujah and let it know it no longer lives here in jesus mighty name and come out of the agreement with it today in jesus mighty name the only agreement that you need to be in with praise god is the agreement with jesus christ hallelujah i'm telling you this right now that's your covenant you're married to jesus and everything that jesus accomplished everything that jesus fulfilled guess what you have access to everywhere Jesus is. Guess what? Hallelujah. He walked this earth. Hallelujah. And he's in heaven right now. Sitting on the throne. Praise God. Guess what? You are citizens of heaven. Praise God. You have access to heaven. Hallelujah. Go ahead and believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed in all your ways. I love you with the love of Christ. I'll see you tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Praise God. We are fasting tomorrow morning. Day 7 prayer will be up at 6. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we will close out with communion at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love y'all with the love of Christ. Be blessed, confident, and highly favored as you are, as you are moving along in what God has called you to do. Love you.